In this video, I will show you how to use Pipedrive for your business. So the very first thing that you want to do is go to the Pipedrive website and click on try it for free. So as you can see, you get full access for free and there is no credit card required. So when you scroll down a bit, you can see a little bit about Pipedrive. So set up your pipeline stages, focus on sales action, track progress towards your goals and optimize and grow. And I'll show you how to do this all. So click on try it free. You can also do it quicker by using Google or LinkedIn. So I'll use Google. Then you will need to enter your name and set up a password. Then enter your phone number. Then here you can apply your promo code if you have one. And then click by signing up you accept the terms of service and privacy policy again. Then click continue. Now here fill in a little bit about you. So which title describes your job role best? So I'll do admin. So here they ask if you have experience with a CRM. And then what do you want to do first? So what is your priority? For example, close deals faster. And then click on next. Then enter your company name. Then how big is your company? Company industry. And how many people in your company will use Pipedrive? Then now it is creating your account. And then this is the first thing that you will see in the pipe drive dashboard. So let's go ahead and close all of this. So right here you can see all of your deals. You have a few different tabs right here. So you have the qualified, contact made, demo scheduled, proposal made, and negotiations started. Now as you can see right now you see it in the pipeline. You can also see a list or a forecast. So for example, add a deal in the qualified section. So click on deal. Then here you can add the contact person, organization, the title, the value of the deal. You can decide where you want to add it. So for example, the pipeline, then you can select which stage. So if you are looking for some leads and you qualify one of those leads, you can add them in the qualified stage. If you've already contacted them, you can click contact mate. Now you can choose the expected close date, the owner, so I'll show you how you can add your employees in here so that you can make someone else the owner of this deal. And then you can set who it is visible to. You can add a phone number and an email for the person. So then once you've filled all of this in, go ahead and click on save. And now as you can see right here, I have this deal. So now I have qualified this business. Now if I've sent them an email or did a cold call to them, you can drag them over to contact mate. Now as you can see, when you hold it, you can also see delete, lost, one or move to. So for example, if you get them all the way to negotiation started right here and you win them, then you can put them in the one folder right here. So then when you click on forecast, you can see the deal right here and it says one. Then after it, you can see the deal value and here you can see the business. Now in the list, you can also see all of your deals. So that's how you can use the deals section. Now, if you want to add one of your team members into your pipe drive account, you can go ahead and click on your initials right here and then click on manage users. Then here you can click on plus user and here you can invite them by email. So for example, I'll do this email and then you can go ahead and click on preview and then invite this user. So then they will get an email and I'll show you exactly what this looks like right now. So this is what the email looks like. When they click on join team, they can go ahead and create their account and then they will be in your workspace. So then you can go ahead and assign a deal to them. So make them the deal owner. Then in the left, we have also projects right here. So here you can manage your projects. Now when you scroll down a bit, you will get some information right here. For example, here you can see about projects, pricing and access. So it's eight euros per seat per month, built monthly. Now you can click on quick add right here. Then you can add a lead, deal, activity, person, organization, note or product. So this is just a quick way to do this. Then click on campaigns right here. Now here you can send email marketing campaigns that get clicks. So you can actually use Pipedrive to do email marketing. So what you want to do is click on get started for free. Now here, as you can see, you get a free trial of 13 days and the subscriber limit is 1000 or 500 during the trial. The price after the trial is 16 euros per company. So let's click on confirm and start trial. Now click on get started right here. So here you can create your first email campaign. 
So here you need to enter your contacts by clicking on go to contacts and then you need to add your sender info so your own email for example. So click on add sender to do that. Then you can enable two-factor authentication and then here under subject you can write the subject line. Now for the actual email content this is really simple. You can click on create new and then you can just use a template. So find one that fits with what you do. For example this ebook. And then go ahead and edit it however you want. So add your logo, add your colors, change this button right here and do whatever you need to do. And then after you're done, click on save and close. So now you have the email right here. Now you can choose a sending time. So you can send it immediately or schedule it for a specific day and time. Now you can select which email tracking you want. So track opening of emails and track clicking links in emails. And then you can select notifications. So then they can send in-app notifications. So then you can click on schedule and then your email will be scheduled or sent immediately. Now the next section right here is sales inbox. So in the sales inbox, you can sync with any major email provider, schedule messages to be sent later, track email engagement, set up automated workflows for email, customize email templates and your signature. So you can get started with this by clicking on connect your email. And then the next section right here is activities. In the activities section, you can see all of your activities. So for example, your meetings that you have planned and all other activities that you want to see in here. So you can see call, meeting, task, deadline, email, launch, and you can also add something else. So let's add an activity. For example, for example, a qualifying meeting. Then you can select as a category meeting. Then you can select the time. So let's say it's tomorrow from 2 p.m. until 2.15 p.m. Now you can add guests, location, video call, description. So just some more details right here. Then you can choose busy or free. So during this time, you're probably busy because you are in a meeting. Then you can add some more notes. Now you can assign someone to this. So if a person in your team needs to do this meeting, you can assign them to that. I will just keep it like this. And then here you can enter some information about the business. So then go ahead and click on save when you're done. And now as you can see right here, you will see the qualifying meeting. So you can also click on calendar right here. So then you will get a different view. Just depends on what you like. And then the next part here is contacts. So here you can add in your contacts. So you can click on plus person, then add all of their information and then click on save in the bottom. You can also add an organization. So add their name, label the owner of the organization. So who is managing it for your company, their address and what is visible to and then click on save as well. Then you can see your contacts timeline right here. So for example, with this contact, we've just added them. But for example, if you have a meeting with them later on today or later this month, you can see that right here. Then the next part here is insights. Here you can basically see all of the insights. So for example, the win rate is 100% because in the deal section right here, I selected that I won this deal right here. And now as you can see, the average deal value is one euro because I set it to one euro. So here there is a lot to explore and a lot of reports right here. So you can check all of these out individually. Then click on products. So here you can add your product details and then click on save. Now the final part is marketplace right here. So this is where you can integrate some tools. For example, OutFunnel, Linkport, HubSpot, Outgrow, Lemlist, or whatever other software you need right here. Then here you also have more. So here you can see your automation, automatic assignment, documents, and you can import data. Now to really quickly add in a deal, you can click on quick add, click deal, then add in the deal really quickly right here, and then click on save. So now you've really quickly added the deal and now when you go back here to deals, you can actually see it right here. So that is how you can use Pipedrive CRM. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will answer each one of them. With that being said, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.